Hello and welcome to another edition of Sun News Today. I'm Chris Legrand reporting from Southeast Asia. We're here in Singapore, Sun's regional headquarters for Asia South. Sun Microsystems first started doing business here back in the late 80s. And today business is booming here for this technology leader. On this edition of the program, we're going to take a look at Sun's growing business in Singapore and see how the company has won the praises of its customers, partners and the Singapore government. Singapore is a dynamic country with a unique blend of Eastern and Western cultures. It's a melting pot of races and religions where everyone works and plays well together. The country is located at the crossroads of international trade routes and because of its strategic position, Singapore has grown into a major center for trade and commerce. It's one of the biggest financial and technology hubs in the world and is home to over 7,000 multinational corporations, including Sun Microsystems. Sun Microsystems first started doing business in Singapore back in 1988. The company had only one employee at the time. Now there are three Sun offices in the country with 450 employees. The power of performance is good, like the hit is good. You know. Over the years, Sun Singapore has racked up a long list of accomplishments and is always making headlines because of its technology leadership. Sun is working closely with the Singapore government to develop the country into a robust technology hub. Wong Hang Chu is the managing director of Sun Singapore. We actually have a series of collaboration. We label them under Java Tarek. Java, because of our technology, uh, Tarek is a local name for pool. We hope to pool wealth, pool technology into the, this part of the world. Through the collaboration, Sun and the Singapore government have indeed pulled technology into this part of the world. The technology industry has been booming in recent years as well as overall industry development. The Java Tarek initiative has also resulted in major technology contributions in the education and telecommunications sectors where Java and Sun's other products are shining bright. Sun's work in Singapore extends beyond its partnership with the government. The company has a number of key alliances with customers, including PSA, a global leader in the ports and terminals business, as well as Singtel and Star Hub, two of the largest telecommunications giants. Sun also has many customers in the financial industry, including OCBC Bank and Citibank. In addition, Sun's customer base includes many educational institutions, including the National University of Singapore. One of Sun's key partners and customers in Singapore is Advanced Micro Devices. Sun's fast, reliable and energy efficient X64 servers are powered by AMD Opteron processors. And some of those chips are tested and packaged in Singapore. The manufacturing plant is powered by Sun Technologies, running 24-7, 365 days a year. This is extremely critical to us, extremely important to, for us, uh, considering the kind of mission critical work that we are doing here in EMD Singapore. We are very, very much depending on Sun, both Sun technologies, Sun infrastructure, as well as Sun professional services and technical advice. Because of Sun's growing presence in Singapore and demand for its products, in 2005 the company opened a Sun Solution Center. It's a $5 million facility, one of four worldwide, providing state-of-the-art technologies that help partners build and test prototypes for customers. One of the hottest solutions in the center right now is called the Display Grid Architecture, which allows customers to move between multiple operating systems in real time. Donald Chen is the manager of the Sun Solutions Center. And the good thing is that customers can take all this environment of them right, in a very portable manner, say for example into a PDA, a smartphone for example. There's no need for customers to install any software on these client devices because they're all already installed at the back end. Welcome to Sun Solutions Center. The Sun Solutions Center is a hit with the company's customers and partners. AC Corporation is using the center to showcase its RFID application called Genesis. Using Sun technology and radio frequency ID chips, Genesis automates everyday services and, for example, can simplify the purchase of basic commodities using a cell phone. 
The application also makes it easier to get information. You can even download a movie trailer from a smart poster. We could actually embed a reader or a chip into a poster. If I have a phone embedded with an NFC chip or RFID or a card or a key fob, all I have to do is just wave that device on that poster. And since that poster would know who I am, it's going to zap the information into my mobile phone. And I could literally view the trailer right there, right now. The Genesis application is just another example of how cutting-edge technologies are emerging from this part of the world and how Sun Microsystems is playing a vital role in making it happen. Sun executives say even though Singapore is small, the country thinks big, and down the road they see this gem in Southeast Asia becoming an important resource center. Because we have good interconnection here, we have you know, good trusted government here, potentially can make us a hub for computing resources. Neighboring country could be paying for resources over here and all the data center is located right in the heart of Singapore. That's going to do it for this edition of the program. Thank you for watching. I'm Chris Legrand reporting from Singapore and we'll see you next time for another edition of Sun News Today.